J.K. Rowling once said, It is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well have not lived at all, in which case you have failed by default. From time to time, I have become engrossed in screens and habits of inaction that leaves me depressed and unenergetic. But is it completely the fault of the screen, or is the screen just a comfort in the busy life that is easier for me to get sucked into? Let's break it down. There are 24 hours in a day. The amount of sleep one needs as an adult to function throughout the day varies. But let's say you get at least 7 hours. That leaves 17 hours in the day. There is the daily commute, which if you work from home these days you might not have, but if you have kids, they still need to get to school. From personal experience, it is an hour round trip in the morning and an hour round trip in the afternoon. Which leaves me with about 15 hours. Eight of those is consumed with work, which, once you block that off, I now have seven hours to myself. But wait, there's the morning routine and dinner routine, and again, if you have kids, getting them to bed routine. My kids are little, so it takes a little bit of time. So let's round up and say we got three hours in daily self-maintenance. But then, you know, the best part of the day, the daily stuff we have to maintain. If you were like me, this is the part that really sucks the most. It is literally time spent cleaning up from the life that you live. But we have to wear clothes, which means we do laundry, and we have a family that means the kids play, and things don't necessarily clean themselves up. Or they play outside and bring in all the dirt, which means we need to vacuum and mop. And unless we hate the environment, and our wallets, we are washing dishes rather than using one-time use stuff. If you were like me, you have fallen into ruts from time to time where you don't feel as though you can do anything more than just what the day requires from you. Oftentimes that is because there doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day. I find that making the time for the things I love to do and making times for the people I love to spend time with gives me more energy for the things I have to do. And when my creative spirit is fed, when my relationship desire is fed, it is easier for me to slow down I get to sink into that a little bit more and not be thinking about the hundred of other things I like to be doing. So take a chance today or tomorrow on something you have been meaning to do. You might not succeed at it right away or it might not be something that you do long term, but you never know. It might just make the living you are doing a bit more meaningful to you and the people around you. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, the birds came back. <laughs>